you a few questions. The emergency department nurse is caring for an adult who is a victim of family violence. Which priority instruction should be included in the discharge instructions? So, you can pause the video. Answer this question. Then, unpause for the correct answer and explanation. Okay, the answer here is D. Tertiary prevention of family violence includes assisting the victim after the abuse has already occurred. The nurse should provide the client with information regarding where to obtain help, including a specific plan for removing the self from the abuser and information regarding escape, hotlines, and the location of shelters. An abused person is usually reluctant to call the police. Explaining the importance of leaving the violent situation is important, but a specific plan is necessary. So, this question reads that A patient is brought to the emergency department who has lacerated both wrists. What is the initial nursing action? Again, you can pause the video. Answer this question. Then, unpause for the correct answer and explanation. Okay, the answer here is A. The initial nursing action is to assess and treat the self-inflicted injuries. Injuries from lacerated wrists can lead to a life-threatening situation. Once that is taken care of, other options may follow. All right, this last question reads, A client is admitted to the mental health unit after an attempted suicide by hanging. The nurse can best ensure client safety by which action? Once again, you can pause the video. Answer this question. Then, unpause for the correct answer and explanation. Okay, the answer here is D. Hanging is a serious suicide attempt. The plan of care must reflect action that ensures the client's safety. Constant observation status one-to-one -one with a staff member is the best choice.